It's in time for lunch. The Utah Beef Council back in the kitchen on today's menu, a Greek salad with steak. Take a look. Yeah, thank you. Jennifer Burns for Utah Beef Council here with a delicious, fresh recipe that is really easy to make. You probably have a lot of these ingredients in your refrigerator right now. Um, and if not, you can always do substitutes. Okay, so we are doing that. Yes, that steak, the Greek salad with some steak on there. And I have to tell you, this is perfect for leftover steak to do something like throwing it into a salad. Like I said, we're making a Greek salad, which is one of my favorites today. We're using some tomato, some red onion, uh, bell pepper in that, some cucumber, some olives, and some feta cheese, and this delicious steak that I have to say, I have this leftover, and I'm going to slice that into little bite-sized pieces for this one, but that is a flank steak that I marinated and cooked on the grill to perfection. So good. Uh, if you don't have a thermometer, that's a great tool to have when you're cooking steak. I mean, I'm going to chop up this um, uh, cucumber. This one I actually took the seeds out. You can do that or just leave them in, whatever you prefer. And if you're using an English cucumber, you just need to wash it really well. Um, you, you don't have to actually peel it. This is just a regular cucumber, so I did peel it. I uh, just like this full chunky style on this one. So just peel this one and then we're going to add all the ingredients and make a quick homemade dressing for this one with red wine vinegar, some oregano, olive oil, some Dijon mustard and a little bit of um, garlic. So this is a good one. Season it well with, all, with salt and pepper. There's that cucumber. Here goes the red onion. It's really pretty colors too. Let's get that fresh tomato in there. Some uh, bell pepper. You can use any color on the bell pepper. Okay. And then we're going to get those olives. Olives could be Kalamata, black, or green olives. I'm using green on this one. There's the steak. All right. Let's get this cut up into some bite-sized pieces. I don't think I need all this for this size, but as much as you like, you can always add more on this one as well. Oh, so good. Okay. Let's make that simple vinaigrette right over here. Wipe my hands. We're going to get that feta in at the end. That simple vinaigrette is going to be some red wine vinegar. We're going to also, like I said, get in a little Dijon mustard. And I'm using a mason jar because it makes it easy to be able to keep the dressing when you're all done. There's that Dijon, a little bit of that garlic, just grate a little in there, that oregano. We're going to get some salt, going to get some pepper. And then that olive oil is going in. Perfect. You're going to shake that up and put that on. And we'll put that cheese on at the end. Shake, shake, shake. Here it goes. Here's the end product. We'll get that dressing on there. Mix that through. There's that feta cheese. And there is some of that delicious steak. Uh, Utahbeef.org for more information.